King Mzwati III was born Prince Marko Zitivi on the 19th of April 1968. The name Marko Zitivi means King of Nations. He is currently the King of Swaziland, now called Iswatini. That makes him the head of the Swazi royal family. His father was King Sopuza II and his mother was Ntfombitwoda, one of the youngest and numerous wives of his father the king and the only child of his mother. He attended primary and secondary schools in Swaziland until 1983, then from 1983 to 1986, he attended Sherbourne School in northwest Dorset, England. He was crowned as King Mzwati III in Gornyama and King of Swaziland on the 25th of April 1986, at the age of 18. At the time, he became the youngest ruling monarch in the world. Together with his mother, Ntombi Fwola, now the Queen Mother, he rules the country as an absolute monarch. King Mzwati III is known for his practice of polygamy, although at least two wives are appointed by the state and currently has 15 wives. He is respected and fairly popular in Swaziland, however, his policies and lavish lifestyle have led to numerous local protests and international criticisms. Currently, King Mzwati III is Africa's last absolute monarch, meaning that he has the power to choose the Prime Minister, other top government posts, and top traditional posts. Even though he makes the appointments, he still has to get special advice from the Queen Mother and Council. In matters of cabinet appointments, he gets advice from the Prime Minister. He ruled by decree, but did restore the nation's parliament, which had been dissolved by his father, in order to ensure concentration of power remained with the King. In 2004, King Mzwati III promulgated a new constitution that allows freedom of speech and assembly for the media and public. Amnesty International has criticized the new constitution as inadequate in some respects. In an attempt to mitigate the HIV and AIDS pandemic in 2001, the king used his traditional powers to invoke a time-honored chastity right under the patronage of a princess, which encouraged all Swazi maidens to abstain from sexual relations for five years. This was last done under King Sopuza II in 1971. This right banned sexual relations for Swazis under 18 years of age, from the 9th of September 2001 to the 19th of August 2005, but just two months after imposing the ban, he violated this decree when a royal fiancé was chosen, who became his 13th wife. As per custom, he was fined a cow by members of her regiment, which he duly paid. King Mzvati has visited Taiwan 17 times as of June 2018, and has promised to continue recognizing the Republic of China instead of the People's Republic of China. When his father, King Sopuza II, died on the 21st of August 1982, the Great Council of State selected the 14-year-old Prince Marko Zitivi to be the next king. For the next four years, two wives of King Sopuza II, Queen Ziliwe Shonga and Queen Fombi Fwola, served as regent while he continued his education in the United Kingdom, attending Sherborne School in England before he was called back to ascend to the throne. Mzwati was introduced as Crown Prince in September 1983, and was later crowned King on the 25th of April 1986, aged 18 years and 6 days, and thus making him the youngest reigning monarch at the time. He was also the youngest head of state, until Joseph Kabila took office, on the 26th of January 2001 as President of the Democratic Republic of the Congo. The king and his mother, whose title is Indlavu Kati, meaning Great She-Elephant, rule jointly. The king currently has 15 wives and 23 children. A Swazi king's first two wives are chosen for him by the national councillors. There are complex rules on succession. Traditionally, the king is chosen through his mother, as represented in the Swazi saying that, a king is king through his mother. 
According to tradition, he can marry his fiancées only after they have fallen pregnant, proving they can bear heirs. Until then, they are termed Lipovila, or future brides. King Mzwati's reign has brought some changes in the government and political transformation. However, critics such as the People's United Democratic Movement believe that these changes are solely aimed at strengthening and perpetuating the traditional order. His attendance at the May 2012 Sovereign Monarch's lunch to celebrate the Diamond Jubilee of Queen Elizabeth II caused some controversy, given criticisms of his regime's human rights record. Swaziland has been described as having been gripped by years of fiscal indiscipline, government corruption, and lavish lifestyles of the royal family. The nation has also been described as being on the brink of economic disaster due to these factors. Under Swazi law and custom, the king is vested with virtually all the powers of the state. Despite Swaziland having a prime minister, King Mzwati holds supreme executive authority over the legislature and courts. King Mzwati's reign has been criticized for its several alleged human rights violations. His regime has been accused of using torture and excessive force to control the masses, as well as blatant discrimination against various dissenting groups. His regime has been accused of extrajudicial killings by his forces, along with arbitrary arrests, detentions, and unwarranted searches and seizures of homes and property. His government has restricted freedom of speech, assembly and association, and has harassed activists and journalists. The government has reportedly targeted the LGBT community, labor leaders, and activists against child labor, among other groups. The courts took little or no action to punish King Mzwati's actions, or the officials who committed the abuses. He has been accused of kidnapping women he desires to marry, although no case can be brought against him. In addition, in the year 2000, he allegedly called for a parliamentary meeting to debate if HIV-positive people should be sterilized and branded. King Mzwati has been criticized for his lavish lifestyle, especially by the media. In one report, he has been accused of living a lifestyle like this, whilst the people of his country starve. In the 2014 national budget, Parliament allocated $61 million for the King's annual household budget, while 63% of Swazis live on less than $1.25 per day. Following criticism of his purchase of luxury cars, including a $500,000 Daimler Chrysler's flagship Maybach 62 luxury automobile, he banned the photography of his vehicles. According to the Forbes 2009 list of the world's 15 richest royals, King Mzvati is worth a reported $200 million. In January 2004, the Times of Swaziland reported that, the king asked his government to spend about $15 million to redecorate three main palaces and build others for each of his 11 wives. The Prime Minister's office issued a press statement saying that, the article in the Times of Swaziland was reckless and untrue, and that the proposal was for the construction of five state houses, not palaces, and the cost was only 19.9 million euros. Later that year, the go-ahead was given to build five new buildings, at a cost of more than four million dollars, out of public funds. In August 2008, Swazi scouts marched through the capital, protesting the cost of a shopping spree taken abroad by nine of the king's 13 wives. The demonstration was organized by Positive Living, a non-governmental organization for Swazi women living with positive HIV AIDS. King Mzwati has a personal stake in a large portion of Swaziland's economy, which is a factor in its below average economic growth for a sub-Saharan nation. As an absolute monarch, he holds the power to dissolve parties and can veto any legislation parliament passes. According to accusations by Amnesty International, Zena Marchlang, an 18-year-old high school student, disappeared from her school in October 2002. 
Her mother, Lindy Weidlamini, learned that her daughter had been taken by two men, Tsetakis Gombeni Lamini and Jilajani Zikonzi, and she reported the matter to the police. Some time later, she was told that her daughter was at Ladzidzini Royal Village and was being prepared to be the next wife of the king. She demanded that her daughter be returned to her custody and threatened to sue. Among the criteria for Ilipovle, the girl must not be disabled or a twin. Zeno March Lan was half of a brother's sister twin set and therefore not eligible. The matter went to the High Court, but Swaziland's Attorney General, Pusher Tlamini, intervened. She has since had two children and formally became the king's wife in 2010. Amnesty International said the king and his agents had violated the internationally recognized human rights of women and girls, including their right not to be arbitrarily detained and the right not to be subjected to forced marriage. On the 19th of April 2018, King Mzwati III changed the name of the country Swaziland to Iswatini. The change was to mark the country's 50th anniversary of independence. King Mzwati III wanted the name Iswatini, which is the ancient original name for the country, and this change was to give up the previous colonial name Swaziland. Thanks for watching. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe.